Hi, welcome back to Storytime with Susan. We are continuing with our book, Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew in the Fashion Disaster. We're on chapter eight, so let's jump right in. Nancy grabbed Chip's collar as she lunged for the biscuits. They looked just like Lick My Chops. Where did you get those? Nancy asked. They must be from Saturday, Nikki said calmly. I forgot to clean out my backpack as usual. But they're Lick My Chops, Nancy pointed out. When you fed Lola, you only fed her the fancy kind. Those weren't for Lola explained Nikki. After I told Maya I quit, I went to the rollover rescue tent to volunteer. Tracy gave me a bunch of biscuits to feed the shelter dogs. Nancy watched Chip crunch the biscuits on the sidewalk. They were lick my chops all right. You can keep the biscuits, Nancy sighed. I still don't have a dog. Nikki adjusted her helmet and pedaled away. The girls stared down the block as she disappeared around the corner. How do we know she was telling the truth? Nancy wondered. Too bad we don't have a lie detector machine, George said. Maybe I can build one, Bess said, or invent a shampoo that makes a liar's hair turn green. Thanks, Bess, Nancy said, but we still have other suspects to question. The Bow Wow Brigade. Bess and George said together. The Clue crew went straight to the rollover rescue shelter. Once inside, they saw volunteers in orange t-shirts busy at work. They were walking dogs, cleaning cages, and showing adoptable dogs to possible owners. Tracy and Vincent were there. When they saw the girls and Chip, they walked over. A brand new puppy just came in, Tracy said. He's a schnoodle, Vincent said. A schnoodle, Nancy asked. Part schnauzer, part poodle, Tracy, Tracy explained. Would you like to meet him? Nancy was curious about the schnoodle, but she shook her head and said, We came to find out who switched Lola's dog biscuits before the fashion show. Nancy pulled the note out of her pocket. She held it up and said, We found this note in Lola's trailer. Did any of you write it? Tracy and Vincent stared at the note. That is our stationery, Tracy said, but I didn't write it. Me neither, said Vincent with a shrug. Then he pointed to a desk. If you'd like to volunteer, just write your name on the sign-in sheet and we'll put you to work. The teenagers turned and walked away. Sign-in sheet, Nancy said. That's it. Don't tell me you want to volunteer now, George said. We have a case to solve. And I'm not cleaning out any cages, Bess said. You'll see, Nancy whispered. She waved her friends over to the desk. Then she ran her finger down the sign-in list until she found Tracy's and Vincent's signatures. What are you doing, Nancy? Bess asked. Comparing the note to Tracy's and Vincent's signatures, Nancy explained. She held the note against the names and heaved a sigh. The handwritings don't match. Somebody had to write that note, George said. Nancy compared the note to each name on the list. Finally, she found a match. Bess, George, Nancy said. The volunteer who wrote the note was that kid, Rusty. Did someone say my name? A voice asked. The girls whirled around. Rusty was standing behind them. He was holding a leash in one hand and a bag of dog poop in the other. I was just walking champ, Rusty said. We can see that, George said, wrinkling her nose. Rusty, did you write this? Nancy asked, holding up the taped together note. Here, hold this, Rusty said. He handed Nancy the poop bag and took the note. Nancy scrunched her nose as she looked down at the bag. Rusty studied the note. 
He nodded and said, Yeah, I wrote this, so what? It's not nice to leave creepy notes around, Bess scolded. I know, I know, Rusty said, but that Maya was making fun of shelter dogs, and shelter dogs are great. Is that why you switched Lola Biscuits, too? Nancy asked. No way, Rusty said. That would be going against the Bow Wow Brigade pledge. What pledge? George asked. Rusty spun around. Printed on the back of his t-shirt was the Bow Wow Brigade pledge. The first line read, Never hurt or trick any dog. A pledge is a serious promise, George whispered. I took a pledge, Bess said when I joined the Pixie Scouts. Well, Rusty said, turning around, now, do you believe me? I guess so, Nancy said. But what is Maya's secret? Bess asked. Rusty tossed the orange note on the desk. Then he flashed a sly grin. It's not nice to tell secrets either, he said. Come on, champ, let's go. The girls watched as Rusty walked away. Wait, wait, Nancy called. You forgot your bag. Now we'll never know Maya's secret, George said. And now Nikki is our only suspect, added Bess. Maybe, maybe not, Nancy said. She tossed the bag into a trash can. Then she flipped the pages of the sign-in sheet until she found the one from Saturday. Look, Nancy said. She pointed to a name near the bottom of the list. Nikki Weidemeyer. She read, that's got to be the Nikki we know. So Nikki was telling the truth, George said. She really did volunteer with the dogs on Saturday. Now we have no suspects, Bess said and everyone still thinks we switch the dog biscuits. The girls left the shelter. On their way out, they ran into Mayor Strong. Hi, Mayor Strong, Nancy said. What are you doing here? I'm on my way to the vet stationed here, Mayor Strong said, to pick up a special toothpaste for my dog, Huey. What makes it special, George asked. It's super strong. The mayor said, Huey has had the worst dog breath since Saturday. Sort of like cheese and onions. Cheese and onions, said Nancy. Mayor Strong nodded. Now, if I can just get Huey to stop drooling like Niagara Falls, he muttered. The girl said goodbye as the mayor entered the building. Wasn't the flavor of Lola's favorite dog biscuits cheese and onion? George asked. Mayor Strong said Huey's breath has been stinky since Saturday, Nancy said. The day of the fashion show, Bess gasped. Nancy smiled as the pieces in her mind began to click together. Maybe Lola's biscuits weren't switched, she said. Maybe. They were eaten. So, as the mystery starts to sort of come to a close, were Lola's biscuits actually eaten? Hmm. Check out my next video for the next chapter to see what happens. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.